Hi, I'm Jan. I'm Tracy, and we are on the Viking Sky, sailing between Istanbul and Athens. And it's really a beautiful ship, and we want to take you along with us. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here on the eighth deck, and we're going to gradually take you all the way down to the first deck, showing you all the little things that we really like about the ship. Now, the other thing you're going to see is right below us, you're going to see is the deck plans in a small little red dot will basically show you essentially where we are uh, along the way. So let's go f check out the Viking Sky. Launched in 2017, the 48,000 ton Viking Sky carries just 930 passengers. If you happen to smoke, there's only one place on the ship that you can light up, and it's right here. In total, Viking has 12 ocean cruise ships, each nearly identical to each other. So once you tour the sky, you pretty much know what to expect on each of the other Viking ocean ships. We're up here on deck nine. This is the forward of the ship. This is where your sports platform is at. There's comfortable seating up here. There's also bocce ball, shuffleboard, and a putting green. On deck seven forward, you will find the upper level of the Explorer's Lounge. We love this space with a wrap around floor to ceiling windows that gives the space a light and airy atmosphere. Living up to its name, the space is tastefully decorated in such a way that any explorer would find this home. Take one of the two stairways to reach the lower level of the Explorer's Lounge. This level also enjoys the beautiful windows and decor, but we also find a grand piano for nighttime entertainment. And of course, there's a bar. In the morning, you can find water, juice, as well as coffee and tea. In the evening, the beverages are a bit harder. On the starboard side of the Explorer Lounge is Mamsons, named after the nickname that the Viking Cruise Line founder called his mother. As with anywhere on the Explorer Lounge, Mamsons has some great places to sit, such as by this fireplace. The founder of Viking further honored his mother by having the food served here on reproductions of his mother's home china. Opening at 6.30 every morning, you can find breakfast, lunch, and snacks straight out of Mother Mamsons' recipe book. So we are here in the Winter Garden. We have moved from the Explorer's Lounge, and this is just a really neat area. Now, one of the things on the Viking ships, especially their ocean ships, they really infuse a lot of the mythology that comes from the Vikings. And in here, you actually have the pillars that actually look like trees. It's to re resemble the Tree of Life. There are a couple crows here that comes from Norse uh, mythology. Um, it's just a very neat place. But not just because of the Viking heritage that we see here, but just what the this is. This is an air conditioned space that has these beautiful windows. It can open out to the pool when they decide to do so. But here is where you're going to have your afternoon tea as well as uh, some uh, other events that are going to be held here, which is really kind of nice. Just a beautiful area. Adjacent to the Winter Garden is the pool. This is the main pool on the ship. 
What is really nice about it is it's a retractable roof, so it's an all seasons pool. The other thing is, as I've noticed, it has nice air conditioning, it has a deep pool, and right behind it, it has a hot tub. There's plenty of comfortable chairs here, and there's a solarium right outside the pool deck area as well. It makes for a great day of relaxing after a long day on a tour. All right, so if you're on a ship and you have a ship pool, you're obviously gonna have a ship bar. In this case, we have a ship bar and a grill. Uh, the grill opens up, it's really good, it's a, a great place. What is really also nice is, uh, just connected here, you have a lot of lot of seating that is specifically uh, tailored for being able to uh, have a, a hamburger, and of course, you can get drinks from the, the uh, pool bar. The other nice thing is, is like many other ships, uh, this is also a entertainment uh, uh, forum uh, right up here. Here you have a, a stage which they've had uh, dancing and, and uh, music and all other forms of entertainment, which is nice. Moving away from the pool bar, we go into the World Cafe. This is on 7 aft, and this is where you're going to have meals available to you, buffet style, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A really nice area of seating inside, plenty of seating on inside as well as outside of the World Cafe. There is a bar, and you also have at nighttime sushi night every night. One of the neat places that we found on this ship is on 7 aft, right outside the World Cafe. This is your infinity pool area, and this is also where you have a nice uh, hot tub. This is a great place to spend sail away. Um, the pool was warm and the jacuzzi was hot. Great place. All right, so we just came out of the World Cafe. Now, on deck six, five, four, and pretty much most of three, all there are are rooms, except for one important thing you're gonna find on six, five, four, and three, which is the laundry room. Each laundry room has four washers, four dryers, two ironing boards, and complimentary soap that you use. Very easy to use. Um, they do get crowded um, after tour excursions. Now remember deck six, five, four, and three are all rooms with the exception of one area on deck three, which is the top level of the atrium. Looks looks over uh, the next two decks. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a really quiet place to come sit and read a book or just relax. The atrium is a great place to work on a puzzle or play games on the unique electronic touchscreen tables. The Viking Heritage Center on board is a great little corner to get to know more about these Nordic people. We're here on deck two aft. This is the main dining room. It's called the restaurant, and this is where you can have dinner every night. Sometimes you can have breakfast, and sometimes you can have lunch, depending on if you are in port or not. Uh, it's a very nice area, great service, and it's usually uh, starters, main meal, and uh, desserts that are included in this one. This is a complimentary restaurant as well. On the entire perimeter of deck two is the promenade. 
This is gonna be your walking and jogging track. Uh, it is four laps for a mile and it's a great way to walk off a delicious dinner. All right, so right across from the jewelry shop, uh, there is a really neat place, Torshaven. It kind of reminds me of a speakeasy, not because it's seedy, because it certainly isn't. It's really well appointed and nice, just absolutely elegant, but because you almost don't know what's here. You have that one area, you see the sign and you come around, and it's probably one of the best kept secrets on the ship, I think. Um, what is nice is in the evening, not only do you have the bar going on, but you also have live entertainment in here, which is ju it's just a great time to relax after dinner. So now we are at the very front of deck two in the Star Theater. Of course, this is where all the entertainment, the main entertainment, the singers and shows happen, as well as many of the uh, uh, port talks will actually happen in here. It's very, very comfortable. Um, I believe that they said that it has a capacity of about 466, especially when they open up the overflow areas, which are on either side of the uh, theater. Uh, just very, very comfortable. There is a bar out front, which is always kind of nice, as well as, of course, on most cruise lines, uh, this is where you will be uh, coming to for many of your excursions to wait to be called to your bus or to your uh, tour guide. Uh, what's nice is that bar that we talked about. Uh, for excursions, they're gonna have coffee and water and different things to get you on your way before your excursion. So we are on deck one, all the way forward in the gym and the spa. Uh, the gym is actually very well appointed, has lots of cardio, whether it's uh, treadmills, uh, ellipticals, it has knotless machines, has a few uh, uh, free weights. It also has areas you can do yoga, which is very nice. But what Tracy and I really love is the spa. The Viking Sky has one of the best thermal airs we've seen on any ship. With a large salasso therapy pool, heated ceramic loungers, hot tubs, steam room, snow grottle, and in the dressing rooms there are separate dry saunas and cold lunch pools. On the bottom deck of the atrium, we come to the living room. Walk around for a few minutes and you'll realize why it's so perfectly named. There are so many comfortable places to sit down and cuddle up with a book. But what is surprising is you'll find 110, 220 and USB outlets. That's something not often found in the public spaces of many cruise ships. Under the grand stairs, you'll find the computer center with two printers for your use. The services is found here and has a much more personal touch with the individual desks. While on board, take a few moments to enjoy the paintings of the Norwegian artist Edvard Munch on loan to Viking by the Munch Museum. Want to know more about this ship's paintings? Enter the painting number into the Viking app and you'll find out all about it. Speaking of art, you can't miss a large LCD screen above the grand staircase. A new image is displayed every 10 to 15 minutes. And one more reason we love this part of the ship, the Viking bar. This quickly became our favorite place to get a pre-dinner cocktail.
We are here in Manfredi's. This is one of your specialty restaurants on board. And while there is no additional charge for it, you do have to make reservations. This is an Italian steakhouse, so it does have a good variety of pastas as well as seafood and meat dishes. Really nice place. Uh, really enjoyed our time here. The second specialty restaurant on the Viking Sky is a chef's table. And what this is, is by reservation, it is not an additional charge, but you are limited to how many times you can eat here. It's a five course meal and it's a chef's degustation menu. So one night it might be a California theme and one night it might be an Asian theme. In the kitchen table, groups up to eight are guided by a chef in each facet of the culinary experience, from selecting ingredients on shore at a local market, preparing the meal, and of course, enjoying the flavors of what they've created. And that's the Viking Sky. Yeah, it is, really is a beautiful ship. If you want to continue on with our adventures, go on and watch this video, and as always, keep on traveling. We could go ship for a while, and I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> We're influenced. How you doing? All right, you ready? All right.